Commissioner Marilyn Kirkpatrick wants answers. She says $12 million the county gave CCSD to fight truancy has not worked. She wants to know what happened to the money, and she is being met by crickets. She is tonight's Fox 5 expert. So, Commissioner, tell me about this $12 million that has not been accounted for. It's really disappointing because the county stepped up when the district said that they had an issue with the truancy. So we stepped up and we set up a program to their liking and now we have a hard time sharing data. We still have an absentee rate that continues to go up and so we're just asking if this money is not going to a good use, then we're going to repurpose it for social services. Um, and so that's where we're at. Why do you suppose they're not sharing that information with you? You are a Clark County Commissioner. I think that they stand behind some a rule that says some legal opinion, that it's privacy. However, I've checked with over 40 superintendents across the country and they don't see it that way. It's just a disappointing fact that they can't be part of our collaboration. Where do things stand today then? So it stands today is that at least I brought up at the County Commission that we maybe need to redirect those dollars and to put them in places so that we can ensure that kids are getting the services that they need. And truancy, I know during COVID it was a bad problem. Has it improved at all? It has. I mean, across the nation, it's in the 30, high 30 percentage. So we're no different. But at the same time, what are we doing to make it better for kids to go to school? Uh, and so it dropped by one percentage point in two years. That, that's not enough in my mind because kids can't learn if they're not in the classroom. Is the answer throwing money at it? The answer is not throwing money at it. We were trying to throw services so that we could go out and really the just behind it was and we found a lot of things when during COVID we went out and we were saying hey why, why is your daughter not in school today well she doesn't have any clothes because she's grown and it's changed or she's babysitting and all of those things that is what the county does we are a safety net to help them get those resources but if they're not sharing the data we can't ensure those kids are getting those proper resources what's your take on the Clark County School District frustrating. <laughs> it seems to many people, because they share their opinions with us, that it's dysfunctional. Here's what I would tell you, missed opportunity. I went here, I went through the Clark County School District system. We're a community and we should all be working together, but they continue to want to do things in a silo, which is problematic. In the last five years, we've asked the district, let us give you money towards preschool, nothing but roadblocks, right? No, we can't, not enough room. We've said, we, let us build a safe key room so our kids have a place to go. You can use it during the day. Nope, we don't want to do that. Open doors, open schools. Started in 05. Let us share the space. We'll pay our fair share, but let us share it. Nothing. So it's frustrating as a community member when you really want to be involved in your schools, and there's just no way to do that. Do you think a new superintendent can change that, or is it just too big? My personal opinion is it's just too big at this point. We did reach out to the district on some of Kirkpatrick's claims. We have not heard back. You can watch the complete unedited interview with the commissioner. It's up on our website, fox5vegas.com. And while you're there, you can catch our other Fox 5 experts.